Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto. Today, we're gonna make this toy spacecraft using nothing but hand tools. Check it. I am making a project from this book, The Wooden Toy Spacecraft. This is the one I'm making right here. This should be pretty simple. I'm gonna make it a little bit more difficult because I am not gonna use any power tools today, all hand tools. This is not something I'm familiar with. It's not something I'm good at. No matter what happens, we're putting out a video. So it could look as cool as this. Could be total crap. This project doesn't require much material, but I picked up some maple and some walnut and a couple dowels from my local hardwood dealer, Kencraft. Here we go. It's got a good sound to it. That means it's gonna cut good. This is a cross cut saw, not a ripping saw, but Paul Seller says I can use this for both cuts. So far, somewhat good. Now this, this is the part that I've been dreading is I have to resaw this in half and uh, we're gonna use the cross cut saw because it's all we got, but we're gonna see if we can do this. I'm gonna get close, I think, and then I'll hand plane the rest of it down. I think I'll get close. I think. <laughs> we. Who needs a bandsaw when you got a handsaw? I gotta get that down to a quarter of an inch. Well, <laughs> we made a wedge. We're getting there. We can fix that. That's a little, that's a little better. It ain't perfect, but we'll make it perfect. So now we have these two pieces. We need the contrasting piece, which is gonna be made out of walnut. It's a skill. This, is, this isn't like cutting on the table saw or the miter saw. All right, I can tell that I'm using a crosscut saw to do a rip because it's not grabbing like it should. Like this takes a lot longer, but it's working. Dovetail saw, it's a rip saw. And it works. So now we have to resaw this. This guy right here is gonna be this little window area there. So more resawing. Now I can use that, put my piece up against that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Between these two pieces, I think that'll do. All right, so now we'll glue these guys up. We're gonna skip ahead to step 10 and work on the wings. So now we're going to draw this out on this piece of maple. And once again, we have to resaw this to quarter in, but this is a bigger piece. This is gonna test my skills. We got that plane down to about a quarter of an inch, a little bit thicker. I'm done planing, <laughs> it's quite a workout. We need to set this to 20 degrees. So I'm just going to take my hand plane and do this. It's pretty good. What do you think, Dan? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that I got that on the first try. Now that this is dry, I need to flatten this. Gonna use a hand plane. So now I need to drill a hole in here 
This is the part where we don't use hand tools because I don't have one of those egg beater drilly things. I just have a regular hand drill. This afterburner? Would you cut that? Is that what you call that? Dowel. <laughs> I went ahead and scanned and printed out the templates from the book. We're gonna work on this part right here, which just has this little angle. And I don't think I really need the template for that. I'm just gonna draw a line and then cut to that line. Clean that up. The next step is to take this to the table saw and cut a 10 degree chamfer on both sides to have it kind of taper in. But since we're not using the table saw today, we're just gonna use a hand plane. So now we're gonna cut these wing templates out. Hold this and then just move it up and down. Yep. So in the book, it has this running on the router table to create a little rabbit for this wing to go into. I think I'm going to try to saw that rabbit in there and then maybe use this guy, this little router plane to clean that up. May or may not work. I think now that I got that started, I can take a chisel and get in there and chisel, chisel it. What's the chiseling verb? Chiseling? Chisel. I'm gonna chisel my chisel. workout today so now we have our two pieces we'll file them to shape and we'll glue them in place so now these little gun housings need a hole drilled in there for the gun or the zapper I'm gonna call it a zapper the laser <laughs> that just hit you yeah did you deserve it yeah yeah thought so so that is quarter inch dowel. We have one eighth inch dowel and we somehow have to drill a hole in there to hold this. This is why I hired Dan. So Dan had me drill a quarter inch hole halfway through the board and then finish that off with the one eighth inch bit all the way through so we can put the dowel into there and then from the other side do one of these. that it's the little things like that that just make my day I don't even think I need clamps I got such a good fit on there it's time to attach the wings I put a piece of masking tape on there so I know where to put it kind of gets me gets me lined up also keeps any glue squeeze out from getting on there we're gonna use wood glue and CA glue the wood glue for strength CA glue as a clamp because it dries really fast so now we're gonna hold that for about 60 seconds, let that CA glue set. Dan, you don't have to record the whole 60 seconds. Dan. Now it is time to put a coat of finish on this guy. Just using some simple finish. While that finish is drying, we're gonna make the base over here at this tool. So 
So that's the bottom side. The top side, we're gonna cover with epoxy. We're gonna dye this black. Now we're gonna create little stars on there. And then we're gonna mix some epoxy, clear epoxy, and let that just drip down the sides. I'm gonna put a little bit of this pearl in the clear, just a bump. Would use glitter, but we're fresh out of glitter. I'm just gonna pour this on there, bubbles and all. A little bump for you. Whoa, that was so badass. Woo, look at that, that looks good. I got the nice little drips, I'm gonna keep them on there. I like the way that looks on the bottom. So now we need to find the center of that. We're gonna drill a hole, put a dowel in there, and then that is going to be the base for this guy. That's, that's so cool. That's what it's supposed to be. That is what it's supposed to be. That is it, that came out really, really good. There were some challenging things making this with nothing but hand tools, but we overcame them and I learned a few things. I learned I prefer working with power tools more than hand tools. But the uh, the idea of using the points and balancing that on there, that came last second and I am so glad we did that. <laughs> That is that is super cool. I could I, I just play with it all day. <laughs> so this project comes from this Springhouse Press book by Gonzalo. Ha, check this out. There's some really really cool projects in there. the The book does not tell you to do it with hand tools. The book has traditional power woodworking tools. I just thought I would challenge myself. There's some great designs in there. It's fun to do with your kids or do for yourself. There'll be a link to that book down in the description. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.